This video is sponsored by RZ Masks. I had a super traditional furniture flip on the books for this weekend's video, but then I found this adorable little mid-century modern dresser on Facebook Marketplace for just 10 bucks, and I couldn't help myself from starting to work on it right away. Welcome back to my channel, Katie here from Salvaged by K. Scott. I am a furniture painter slash refinisher who has built an entire business around finding these unwanted, unloved pieces of furniture and giving them a whole new lease on life so that they don't end up in our landfills. Please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you're interested in really incredible modern furniture before and afters. And now that all that's out of the way, let's get into this flip. For $10, I could not go wrong with this MCM dresser. It is solid wood, but it has this very common printed wood finish over top of it, actually covering up the real wood. I always love these blank canvas straight line dressers, but the hardware on this one is what really drew me in. I mean, these top poles, stunning. So the top poles are staying, but pretty much everything else about this dresser is going to change. I always start off my flips by removing the hardware and cleaning the piece. I like to use this time to assess what all is going on, what repairs need to be made, and whether or not the big plans that I have up in my head are actually going to work or not. I'm not loving these awkward humps on the bottom drawer, and luckily they were pretty easy to pry off. Once I had all of that stuff out of the way, I sprayed everything down with some Safe Prep TSP Alternative Cleaner and scrubbed the whole piece. I also gave it a rinse with some clean, clear water before it was done. There is a big chunk missing out of the back of the top, so I grabbed my wood filler to fill that in. I was at the very bottom of this container and my putty knife couldn't get down in there so I actually just used my hand to scoop some out and get it where it needed to be. I also filled in a few minor scratches on the sides and all of the staple holes from where I removed those humps. I ordered some new legs from Amazon and they weren't here while I was prepping, but I knew that I needed to add a few extra pieces of wood to the bottom of the dresser so that I could attach them later on. I found some old drawer runners from a donor dresser that fit almost perfectly, but I needed to get these little corner blocks out of the way. I undid the screws and then used my heat gun to warm up the glue that was holding them in place and knocked them out with a hammer. I cut my new support pieces down to length and used some clamps to hold them in place while I attached them. I couldn't get in with my drill from a good angle on the inside of the dresser to attach these well, so I decided to countersink some screws from the outside instead, and then I filled those holes in with some more wood filler. Next up, it was time to sand, and furniture flipping comes with lots of dust. You may have noticed me wearing this RZ mask lately. RZ mask offers a few different styles of lighter weight, less bulky masks that are reusable and much more comfortable to wear than other dust masks. You can choose from several different materials, neck strap styles, and they also come in different sizes so that you can get the mask that fits your face best. I chose their M2.5 mesh mask, which has a double strap so I can put one behind my neck and one up over my hair. And I used the easy fitting guide on their website to figure out that I needed a large for the best fit on my face. They're also washable and have an adjustable nose piece to help keep my glasses from fogging up while I'm working. The replaceable filters catch up to 99.9% .9 of airborne particulates and help to reduce odors. Our Z mask is also giving you an amazing discount code. You can use code katiescott 20 at rzmask.com to save 20%. I put some 220 grit sandpaper on my Surf Prep 3x4 detail sander to smooth out all of the wood filler 
and also scuff up the rest of the surfaces. I did also have this tiny lip on the bottom of my new wood pieces. I can already hear the comments, but I don't do the table saw. So to make these flush with the bottom of the side panels, I put some 60 grit sandpaper on my random orbital sander and just ground them down. It's not the proper way to do it, but it's the way that I feel confident getting it done with the tools and the skills that I've got. When I was done sanding, I wiped away all the dust that I'd kicked up with a damp microfiber cloth and wrapped my drawers with some masking paper because I'm gonna be spraying this piece and I don't wanna make a mess. Instead of priming the whole dresser, I decided that I could probably get away with just some spot priming over the porous wood filler and any areas where I'd sanded through that original finish. I used some clear shellac in a spray can just to get those spots. This way my paint will sit evenly over the entire surface instead of getting soaked up into those filler areas. And I am super excited to paint this dresser in a bright, fun color. This is Pressed Fern by Fusion Mineral Paint. Fusion is already a perfect consistency for my gravity-fed HVLP pneumatic gun, so I poured about half of the container straight in there. This paint has outstanding adhesion properties, and it also has a built-in top coat, which is going to save me some time. But since it's a bright green with a lot of yellow pigments in it, it doesn't have the best coverage. That is totally normal with yellow paints and colors that have a lot of yellow in them. I ended up spraying a total of four light coats to get a solid coverage look and I sanded really lightly with some 400 grit sandpaper in between to keep each coat extra smooth. Amazon delivered my new legs just before I was about to go to bed, so I took that opportunity to spray the original half circle pulls and also these little whistle knobs gold to match the legs. Then everything got to sit out in the garage and cure up overnight. The next morning I brought the dresser inside and measured out where I wanted the new legs to go. I drilled some pilot holes into that new wood base so that it didn't split and then I screwed them all in place. I wanted the two bottom drawers to match, so instead of trying to measure out where the hardware holes needed to be, I flipped them up face to face and used the original hardware holes from the third drawer to drill right through and make new matching holes on the bottom drawer front. And like I said, Fusion does have a built-in top coat, but I wanted a little extra insurance on the areas that will get the most traffic. So I buffed some of Fusion's beeswax finish onto just the drawer fronts and the top of the dresser before I reattached the hardware. Before I share the finished dresser with all of you, let's talk numbers because I haven't done that on the channel here for a little bit. I bought this dresser for $10 off of Facebook Marketplace. I have about $15 worth of miscellaneous shop supplies like wood filler, a couple of sprays of shellac and a few screws, stuff like that. My can of Fusion Mineral Paint was $29 with the tax included. Let's say $5 worth of wax. The new knobs on the bottom two drawers are $6 
and I paid $40 for the legs. So I think that lands me somewhere between $95 and $100 worth of materials. I spent about four hours worth of labor working on this dresser over the course of two days. And in my market here, just outside the greater Toronto area, I could safely list this dresser for $375 to $400 for a really quick sale. But I'm no longer selling my furniture flips for a profit. Instead, all of the flips that you see here on the channel are either being donated to local charities who can use furniture, or I will sell the pieces and donate 100% of the proceeds to other charities. But in order for me to be able to afford to keep doing that, I need your help. I need all of you to keep watching my videos, leave me thumbs up, leave me comments down in the comments section, click the little share arrow to share my videos with anyone who you think might be interested in this sort of content. I can't do this without each and every one of you. Now, Let's take a look at this dresser. Make sure that you are subscribed. I have another amazing mid-mod furniture flip coming next week on a dresser that's kind of the same as this one started out, but it got a totally different vibe in its makeover. I will catch you guys next time.